Welcome back! Welcome back! Oh, my chonker army. Huh, so good to see you all. Good morning, if you are seeing me in the morning, or whenever this is posted. I am just so happy right now. I can't contain my excitement. I recently watched the new episode of The Bad Batch. Mm, very good. If you don't know what it is, it's on Disney+. Plus. It's the new Star Wars uh, Clone Wars series, and uh, it was great. Let me know if you want to see a review on that, so you all don't have to go out and uh, purchase Disney+, Plus because uh, you want to watch Star Wars content. Thank you, Disney. Thank you for ruining my fucking life. But in terms of uh, shows from Disney, this is probably the best one, because Dave Filoni made it. Obviously, stupid fucking corporations and buying other franchises. Aside from that, today we are playing Space Engineers back in her survival world. And we have done oh, nothing. But as you can as you can see, we are getting a little bit more oxygen in here. Hell yeah. And I can refuel my oxygen in my med bay, which is my uh, priority. This is kind of what I really wanted was just to have oxygen at least uh, inside my med bay. All right, so in this episode, it's gonna be super fucking stupid. It's gonna be so boring and uh, I, but I need to do this. I need to look for platinum, platinum. I need platinum because I want to get thrusters on my little truck and then put an ore detector and then I can find ore on asteroids much, much easier. So let's just go ahead and depressurize in this little room. Open this up, close it. So yeah, as you can see, there is a, this is our truck right here and it's, I've got a reactor because we found some uranium. I was like, oh fuck, we might as well use some uranium. And then I also have a large battery. So uh, should be power efficient. Uh, but yeah, we need platinum to make thruster components because huh, we need these fucking thrusters built. So, what we're gonna do is jettison ourselves out into space! Yes, that's it. That's my plan. Are you ready? We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for that asteroid way the fuck over there. Ah, yes. Yes, the beautiful... Here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So, how are you guys today? And girl. You guys and girl. Feeling good? Feeling happy? Feeling healthy? That's, that's always good. Uh, it's important to feel positive and if you don't feel positive, you know, uh, do things that uh, Make you happy. I've been recently uh, starting workouts Very very good. I mean, I've worked out for a while now, but uh, I've gotten back into it and I feel great um, It is harder than it used to be. Yes uh, But uh, it feels it is it feels great. You know do a little bit of boxing a little bit of uh, core uh, little bit of uh, flipper curls you know so my flippers get nice and strong I do a lot of swimming a lot of swimming yeah it's been good it's been very good I have no food I have no food in my house so uh, I may just uh, I may just quickly leave to go uh, to the local coffee shop just to get something huh we're here all right let's see what we can Fine on this asteroid before we die. Oh, oh my God! Well, that happened. Okay, let's get out our drill, so we can possibly find find some more. Yes. Now, uh, platinum is like, from what I researched, <laughs> just blends in. So, <gasps> oh, we found ice! Yeah! Oh, that's awesome! Oh my God! Slash. Slash GPS. GPS. Boom, we got ice right there. Perfect. We'll, we'll get it on the way back. This is silicon. All right, that's not a bad find then. We got our ice. Um, cobalt. Or, uh, is there another asteroid? All right, let's go to this one. I feel like the farther the asteroids are away from us, the more likely we're going to find a uh, good loot. Like, good good loot i'm saying it it's not loot it's ore we're looking for ore the bad batch 
was really good. Good episode, yeah. Something that I really like about uh, these new episodes, I hope, I pray, I pray they keep doing this with the episodes from now on, is that they um, keep them this very lengthy length. Like, uh, like the episode was an hour and 10 minutes, I think. And it was great the whole way through. There were parts where I was like rolling my eyes because I'm like, okay, yeah, you're trying to appeal to kids. But like, I mean, I mean, some parts did genuinely make me laugh just a little bit or whatever. But for the most part, it was serious. You know, there's a premise. Uh, they got to the point, you know, um, are, are we, you could clearly determine who the protagonist of it is going to be and who the antagonist of the series is going to be. So and it's a really cool um, feud between uh, the Republic and the Empire. So I'm very excited to see the coming up episodes. And uh, yeah, again, let me know if you guys want to hear more about it or check it out for yourself. But uh, fuck Disney. Okay, we're on asteroid number two. You. Maybe we can find some platinum. Hmm. Uh, that's bright. <gasps> Unknown signal. Wow. That's so cool. We we're really far away from our base. You know, if I were platinum, where would I be hiding? Oh no way. Now that's a lot of ice. Oh hell yeah. Where was this at the start? All right. Fuck platinum. We're just making hydrogen ships. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. This is great. So now I'm going to do slash GPS. Now let's find home. Oh my god, I have so many GPS coordinates. 24 kilometers away. Also, just to get an idea of scale, um, once we get two kilometers closer, that is the length of a Super Star Destroyer. That's fucking insane. Are you kidding me? People are like, oh, make a one-to-one -one scale of a ship from Star Wars. Yeah, you're not getting any higher than a fucking Corvette. Star Wars ships are huge. Huge. But I fucking love them. This takes forever. Could have went to a coffee shop by now. Get some sustenance. I should have probably went to that unknown signal, but uh, whatever. We don't need that. I'll be working on those cinematics tomorrow, so uh, stay tuned for that. It's uh, going to be pretty cool, not going to lie. Also, stay tuned for a carrier near you. Oh yeah, I made a carrier. Cruiser class, so it's a big carrier. Very, very different than something that I would typically make, but um, I'm really happy with the design and I can't wait to see you guys' uh, opinion on it. Um, it's very strange. Very strange design. For reference, it's uh, part of the Mantoid faction. Yes? Mantis people? The interior isn't too good. I, I think I still have to work on it, but uh, the execution of the ship? Ooh phenomenal a business shipment oh we're gonna go destroy that hell yeah no we're not we're not equipped until i get my chunk army yes yes i know god doesn't exist oh only chunk only lord chunk there's no god there's no god only lord chunk i am your god and I'm very loving, and I love all of you. All right, we're back, and time to celebrate, because we got ice for our O2 generator. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. All of you are useless. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Look at it. It's all filled with O2. Oh my god, yes. Hell yeah. Here we are, boys. We did it. All we needed was a little bit of ice. There we go. Zero deaths from now on. Zero deaths. I, I swear to you. Okay, so for this next part, I think uh, I think we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse. I think I've got enough material. If I don't, I'll go out and I'll get some more. But we're going to 
revamp my little truck to maybe make it look more like a truck and uh be completely hydrogen because uh fuck trying to get platinum until i find platinum and then we can uh we can start putting on ion so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little time lapse that i'm about to do and i'll Well, here we are, and this is the, it's not a truck anymore. It's definitely not a truck. 
Uh, it is the surface scraper. Uh, named so because of the long drill on the front to scrape the surface of asteroids and suck up all of their pieces. So it was going to be originally just uh, like some sort of truck um, to like haul resources. So I would mine it and then I would just put it into the cargo container and then I could just essentially just making my inventory bigger. Um, but I thought I'm like, you know what? You, I might as well just have a drill on it anyways. And that way it will fill up the cargo container. I don't know if it will. I, I may need a conveyor sorter thing, which will be annoying, but I think it will just automatically fill, um, the cargo container. If not, then I don't know what to do. So it's fully hydrogen. We found some ice, so I'm definitely going to go out and mine some ice. And, um, yeah, so, uh, let's just go test this baby out. Let's see, uh, how well she performs. And hopefully I don't die in the process. So, we're just going to, uh, oh, depressurize. Oh, don't die. And, um, open this up. Drop off all of our gear. Here we go. Let's turn that off because we don't need that on. Turn on our thrusters. Hell yeah. Now it says I have zero hydrogen. I don't know if that's just glitching or what. But I totally have power, so... All right, so let's go gain some speed and head towards here and then just turn off our thrust. Now we can save power. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's not too, uh, too detailed, but uh, I think it's uh, pretty all right for just uh, my first little survival ship. Um, pretty speedy because it's hydrogen thrust um yeah obviously i'll refine the design as the series goes on but uh i think for a starter ship this is pretty all right i tried adding a little bit of detail obviously the back is very flat but i mean you could clearly tell that i can definitely add more to the back of it also i didn't know this but when they added the glass blocks or like, like the gla glass panes or whatever for small ships, you can now make your small ship atmospheric. Or atmospheric, what am I saying? You can make it airtight. So I think what I want to do is make some sort of like Millennium Falcon, uh, Slave One type ship. But like, it's like a cargo vessel, but made out of sh small ship blocks. So, um, what, like an exploration shuttle, maybe? I don't know. We'll just have to see. All right, let's go scrape some ice. Let's turn these bad boys back on. We can fly this way. You just kind of putt around. It's got 20 hours of power. That's pretty good. It's not, <laughs> it's really not that maneuverable um, because of all the weight. So uh, it's going to be hefty to move around once we actually uh, fill this thing up with uh, ore. Make sure we turn off our landing gear so we don't accidentally hell yeah let's get some ice boys and girl it, it worries me that i can't see my hydrogen 
Yeah, building a ship in creative is fun and all, but there's something satisfying about uh, building a ship in survival and then it actually just working. So, um, I can understand the appeal of playing survival. For all of you survival players out there. I'm just much more of a creative builder myself. I like to, uh, I prefer to build in, um, in creative and then uh, make scenarios, battles, or cinematics as you've all seen already. Oh yeah, we did a number on that. Uh, can we see my inventory? Stone, stone, ice, stone. Sweet, okay, so it does like automatically fill. Awesome. Oh yeah, we've got ice for days. Let's just keep going. Let's mine as much as we can. The surface scraper. I like it. It's good. It's working well for me. I'm glad I didn't go with my second plan, which was to uh, keep flying to asteroids until I found platinum just to have ion engine. But uh, I think using hydrogen was a safe bet, especially now that we found a lot of ice. It's going to become a lot easier to uh, just make a ship and then uh, use hydrogen. But later down the line, it would be very fuel efficient to uh, make an ionized ship. I was thinking that maybe we could uh, do a live stream on YouTube just to try it out. Just because I'm curious to try it out. Um, obviously, we got to pick a time and place that uh, all of you are able to watch. Um, or not all of you, maybe just some of you. Maybe like 20 of you. That'd be, that'd be cool. Just to get some like live feedback on what I should do in the survival world. Um, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know what it is about like voxel games and uh, creative building games, but like, even though you have to like get resources, um, it's just fun to do it. Like, like for example, Minecraft. I mean, mining blocks. You, you'd explain that to someone in real life, and they're like, "I do not see the excitement in that game." But like, there's just something about you know going out. Uh, gathering resources and then coming back to build something uh, unique, something cool. Um, and it's especially cool in Space Engineers because it's like, you know, you go out of your way, you try to find resources, then you build something to get more resources and, you know, well, the cycle of life. And you just keep going around and uh, making stuff to make things easier and more convenient in Space Engineers. I'm excited to know when this gets boring for me because, I mean, I thought survival was boring, period, at the start in Space Engineers, but uh, when you actually play, you know, and you set like little goals, little objectives, it becomes a lot better. Even solo, like, uh, not even like with other players, but like just doing it by myself, like it's, it's honestly just as fun. Hell yeah. Okay, there's a lot of ice there, so we're definitely going to have to keep mining this out. Um, how much storage do we got? We got some stone, got some ice. Our reactor is running, so that's good. 19 more hours. Alright, so let's see if we can go get some iron over here. We go back to ice, but more cobalt or two. I th think, yeah, if we go to ore, um, there's uh, I think it's gold and cobalt that that's there. We'll just pick up some speed, coast on over. Yeah, looking at the back, it's pretty ugly. We 
Oh god. We can't stop. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we just go home first. And then we'll make our way. Yeah, I don't know. I think I need more power sources, right? That's another thing I don't know. Do you, like, will your ship technically run better if you have more than one small reactor? Or if you just take one small reactor like, let me give an example. If you have two small reactors and you have one uranium in each, compared to one small reactor with two uranium in it, will they both do the same amount of power output? Like, is one better than the other? Let me know in the comments below. Oh yeah, now this is gonna look satisfying. Got the nice purple glow of the Chonk army. It's gonna glide on over. I think there should be um, a HUD option that's like minimalist. Oh, I guess that's better. <laughs> I guess it just looks, yeah, it looks bad when you uh, have tons of GPS coordinates everywhere. So uh, just turn those off. Look at that. And the sheer size of like the asteroids. We can fly in these little crevasses. <laughs> Expert pilot right here. Your lord and savior, Chonkers. All right, we're coming in for landing. Hell yeah. And here we are. We're back. Back home. That was awesome. Let's uh let's unload. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. All right. We got to think of a path that we can take. We have to build a, a conveyor system. Oh, st what? There's just ammo here? What? I will definitely take that. No arguments here. What if I just make an ejector? An ejector and a collector. Well, I think that's all we have time for uh, tonight. So uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm so glad to be back making some videos. It's not, I haven't, it's not like I've been gone or anything. It just... Ah, it's just good to be uh, good to be in the presence of uh, a very positive group of people. So uh, thanks for viewing, all of you, and for subscribing. Next episode of uh, Survival, we'll uh, try and make some sort of contraption to unload all the materials into our base. And uh, yeah, uh, that will be the plan. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoyed our little adventure of finding ice. That's it for this episode of survival stay tuned for the next and stay tuned for more amazing chonkers content as always stay safe stay chocolicious fucking delicious baby bootylicious mm. chonkers out